in this video i'll show you how to use fetch xml using javascript to retrieve multiple record in power apps now i have a simple model driven app over here which lists down all the airlines now this model driven app i'm going to use it as a reference point to load the multiple records so i i do not have any specific place to load the record you can load it anywhere but i'm going to choose say if i open say one of the record then uh in it the js will be triggering off and then that will display the content okay now the goal is to uh, show all the record set okay so if i want to retrieve all the record set say i want to list on all the airlines along with their email address or any other columns uh, i will be displaying that in say console.log and then you can take that value and then put it in uh, uh, any other uh, shape or form now i'm going to make use of say record so once i am inside a record that js will run uh, and then we will make use of fetch xml to get those information back now how to use fetch xml so first is if you go into the view over here and if you don't know how to generate a fetch xml you can go into say edit filter and then from here you see the query of this particular view is status equals active now i'll just download fetch xml and i'll open the fetch xml so let me format this document and here you will see all this information okay with regards to fetch xml now we'll keep our uh, fetch xml pretty simple so i'll show you how to keep it simple so first is uh, version 1.0 we don't want this okay so i can remove this mapping is logical yes we need this but other than that we do not want any other things so i'm just going to remove it blindly Now entity name, yes, that is required because we are going to refer the entity name airlines, which is Gcop underscore airlines is a logical name. Attribute name, uh, we don't want any other attribute name except for Gcop underscore name. Okay, so we can go ahead and remove the other attributes. Created on, if required, we can keep it, but just for the sake of uh, like simplicity purpose, we will just uh, remove everything from here. And even we do not want the filter okay so we do not want anything of the filter sort we'll just remove this now we can add uh, other attribute if we want so let me just keep one more attribute so the other attribute was uh, gcop underscore airlines id so let me keep that and you can add it just by looking into the data model and then you can add fields over here so we'll keep it very simple over here so it's fetch mapping is logical entity name is gcop airlines gcop name attribute name and we are kept two attributes closing the entity closing the fetch now i have just formatted it now i can even like say put it in one line so so let me put this everything in one line so i'll just remove this so you can format this you can you use any other tool to minify it and then get all this information in say one line now i'll show you why i've done all these things so this everything is gone in one line so let me save this okay now we're going to write some javascript code over here to retrieve the fetch xml uh, retrieve the record multiple record using fetch xml so let's start writing the function so function retrieve record And this time you are retrieving multiple records okay retrieve records using fetch xml we'll pass the execution context and we just put a semicolon so So I'll just put this over here. So, and then this is that function. So I'll just put a semicolon. So.
So function retrieve record using uh, fetch XML. We are passing the execution context. And I'll just close this over here. And now here, we are going to write some XML, fetch XML. So where fetch XML equal to. And here we're gonna copy the things which we have copied. Now remember, in order to copy this, first we need to write the proper syntax. So just put a question mark, like which is we are passing a parameter, and then type in the value fetch XML. Make sure that syntax is correct. X is capital, rest all is small, equal to, and the fetch XML which we have created. So this is the fetch XML which we have just created. So let me copy this. And I'll paste this over here. Now here, if you see, it has disturbed everything, right? Because of double quotes. So let me do a control C, go to your fetch XML and just say control H, find double quotes, replace with single quotes and replace all. And once you're done with it, just copy this. And now this looks good okay so we have removed all the spaces we have kept it in one line and this looks pretty neat now this is the fetch xml which we have written now let's start retrieving the value so the uh, how do you retrieve the value is use xrm dot so xrm dot web api dot retrieve multiple records and we need to pass the entity name the entity name we are going to just hard code it because we don't we know the entity name as uh, gcop underscore airlines make sure that you spell it correctly and we are just going to pass another parameter which is as simple as this fetch xml and that's it and once you're done with it dot then and you pass the parameters over here and then if you have any error just make sure that you capture those errors if you encounter any issue while executing this code so console.log error dot message And, and the logic, like we are going to get this value in a function of success. So function success bracket result and the result will hold the value. Now, and then from that point onwards, we can just do a normal process. Now we have passed, we have retrieved two attributes. So let's display those two attribute values. Now we can make use of for loop because it's a record set. It's not just one value. So I'll use a simple for loop. You can use variant of different for loops. So I'll just keep it simple. So I equal to zero, I less than result dot entities dot length. I plus plus. And you put a bracket for this for and you just write console dot log. And what do you want to print so you want to print say airline name so i just say airline and plus and say result dot entities of i dot g corp underscore name now that's the first column which we are printing i'll just copy everything over here and then i'm just gonna put uh, id so we are, we are getting gcop underscore airlines id as well so i'll just copy this id and 
and we can extract multiple columns but remember whatever column you specify in the fetch xml you are only going to get that in the result so make sure that whatever column you have selected make sure that you have that gcop underscore airlines is the name of the entity so we have hard coded this so if you see over here this is the back end table uh, of airline now here if i go to properties you will see the name the logical name of this particular entities jcop underscore airline so that's the first parameter and then the second parameter is a fetch xml so looks good let's run this code and see how it performs so i'm copying this i've already uh, created a web resource now the web resource js does not have anything so i'm just going to paste the code over here click on save and publish it now there might be some errors in my js so let's see if there are any errors after executing this so i'll just copy the function name now i'm gonna hook that function name as i mentioned to you in the form record okay now this is that form record in the events i'm gonna onload event handler i've already added the web resource so that's what's coming in the library retrieve record using fetch xml enable pass execution context as a first parameter then once it is published i should be able to see the information if the code is correct let me do a hard refresh control f5 and go into any one of the record now if i go to air new zealand over here so here you will see all this information listed okay now you can go to any of the record set so if i go into american airlines i will see everything because in the code what we have done we have just written everything right so we, we we said that we want to extract all the record and that's why it is giving me the list of all the records so you see airline and the corresponding id and then the airline and then the corresponding id so there are almost i believe nine records so that's why you're seeing all the nine value over here right and this is how you can extract the multiple records from the backend database using fetch xml uh, and javascript so just to go back to the code let me retrieve uh, let me show you this information again so first what we have done we have written a fetch xml whatever fetch xml we want against that entity and then we used xrm.web.api web api dot retrieve multiple records to retrieve the uh, the record set now two parameters one is the entity name in the logical form and the fetch xml now remember the fetch xml which you have created make sure that you format into single quotes so that uh, it doesn't clash with the js code over here and then you just iterate through the for loop and then get all the information like airline airline id so in this case i'm just passing in the fetch xml i have two attributes you can keep five attributes seven attributes or keep all the attributes if you want and then you can get those item in the result but make sure that whatever entity uh, attribute you specify in the fetch xml you are only going to get or retrieve those information if you try to retrieve something else you will not be able to get that answer so that's it folks this is how you basically use fetch xml in javascript for retrieving multiple record for a power app thanks for watching